Spring, where are you? Welcome. I don't throw away everything. Take some stuff off the cars and store it away, stash it away up here old parts for people that never come back and get them but that's me I'm the fool but not too much more of that anymore well when it gets slow in the winter which it usually does not till about February and uh, February February uh, first part of March most of March mud season not much going on for cars they're frozen in mudded in nobody really cares but then I come up and you know, I take it's kind of fun. I take a look at what I got and I forget what I got. And I got all kinds of little tidbits and items and interesting little things that I find in cars and that I take off, you know. Clusters and all sorts of things. And uh, then I got my little eBay station, and uh, list them up, you know, 20 bucks here, 30 bucks there, whatever. It adds up, a little bit of extra money. Keep all these, uh, all these little Amazon boxes and stuff I can get my hands on, because in handy when you uh, you want to package stuff up all kinds of packaging supplies pretty much uh, when I moved in here this place was full of stuff that was not mine but then it became mine the people before decided they hadn't looked at it in years, and uh, they didn't want it. So I threw most of it away, with the exception of a few things. But this uh, 
this corner right here that's expanding out and overflowing is basically the wife's little corner that I give her and uh, the clean outs house clean outs that I do sometimes and garages and shed storage units whatever find interesting antique items and uh, she likes to hang on to them and that's okay so that's the little collection sometimes we purge it and uh, sell some have a yard sale you never know and uh, records and all kinds of old stuff that's just kind of cool so this corner over here Christmas decorations some storage like that got Coleman cooler hoard there's way more than that some in the camper spread about but try to get every color and I have most of those that are matching colors to each cooler and I just kind of like that Sweps cooler someone gave that to me and the old high life one that I spent too much money on had to have it a yard sale swap meet or something it's uh can't really be used as a cooler anymore, but I wanted to do something cool with it. I thought about like a like a toolbox, like a you know, something to like bolt in the back of the suburban or something. I thought it would be cool, but paid way too much money for it. Some old crates and chests and stuff. The only thing up here remaining from the past owners of this place, I think, is this desk right here. This desk was up here. It was facing the other way under this window. And uh, it's goddamn heavy, I could tell you that. And I just didn't want to bring it down to get rid of it. So it ended up to be kind of set up a little another little desk area for myself keep a watch got this computer it's broken it's gonna try to fix it make it work needs a power supply So, for a while now, if you look down in the uh, description box there on my videos, <clears throat> you'd see the few links, some, you know, social media, whatever. Some people have found me on there, kind of helpful, but I've always put a link to my um, eBay store, I guess, and... Uh, I used to be really into it, and uh, I used to sell a lot of stuff on eBay. Did you know? I mean, not crazy numbers like some guys, but um, you know, I kind of had fun doing it. And uh, you know, the car parts especially, but it does uh, take up time, and you know, you got to wait for your money. A lot of people 
are mad these days at eBay. They don't really use it. They say that the fees are a lot, which they have come up, you know, but when you got stuff that basically stands you no money, I mean, 99% of the stuff that I put on there, I got for absolutely free. Um, if I'm sending a car or a truck to the junkyard and I, you know, had to have a few minutes and, you know, um, take a couple things off, you know, dash cluster, uh, you know, something that I might know that is desirable that people were after. Um, but, you know, not every piece is. There's a lot of stuff that's dime a dozen. And, you know, most of the time I find some little, um, you know, thing and I clean out or something. You know, for instance, you know, you find something like this, you know, a little Jack Daniels playing cards little thing. Yeah, you know, it's kind of cool. It's got the cards in there. Uh, you find stuff like that and you think, man, that's got to be worth something on eBay. But your dreams are quickly crushed when you type it in and see that a million other people have the same thing. And they're all trying to sell it for ten, twenty dollars, and you know, um, actually, I haven't even looked this up yet. I just took pictures of this, haven't even listed it, but um, just use it for an example. So, you know, sometimes, but then there's other times that you find stuff, um, and it really is rare, but you still got to find that right person. But just remember, there's an ask for every seat. And, uh, anyway, the name of, uh, my, my little eBay store, it's called, uh, CJ's Goodie Shop, and, uh, that's, that's been on there a lot of years, made that way back, probably when I was, uh, young enough still to live at home, but, um, it's funny, the little picture, the little thumbnail, profile picture that's still on there for some reason is a, a, a dog like a golden retriever um, that's riding in one of my cars and uh, that dog is one of my brothers my older brother's old dog that passed away years ago uh, that's how old it is and I didn't have a dog at the time. I mean, my family did, my parents did, but I didn't have a dog myself. And uh, he wanted, he went on vacation and wanted me to come over and, um, you know, walk, walk the dog and, you know, feed it, do whatever it takes. And um, at the time, I had, you might remember the videos, a 1983 Buick Regal station wagon um, that I swapped in a 455 Buick motor in it, turbo 400. And uh, that day I went over my brother's house to uh, babysit the dog and take it out. I decided that I was gonna go for a ride and we went driving all around. And we got Chinese food, I think, and brought it back and I hung out with the dog. Um, Can't remember the name of that dog right now. Can't believe I forgot that. I just said it too yesterday. But um, that's what happens when you get old. You forget things. So if you feel like it, keep an eye on that. You know, follow it. Whatever uh, CJ's goodie shop. A lot of different things on there right now I think there's like I just listed like crazy because I haven't been uh, getting a lot of cars to haul so I've been kind of had some time and uh, I listed like 40 things on there so you know kind of a few vehicles that were uh, pretty desirable in parts wise and 
I just never got around to listing the parts anyway. So, um, like a 2011 Lincoln MKZ, real fancy car that I got a chance to junk, which I should have not listened to the people and I probably could have, uh, sold that car for a lot more. Um, the things that they said were wrong with it might not have been, but anyway, it's gone. It's, man, the guy took that guy, he, he ripped that thing apart with the loader to get at the cats for me, and they weren't even worth that much in the end, so I didn't make shit off that car, but there was a lot of parts on that car now. You would, uh, you watch some videos and stuff, you know, some guys have some good YouTube videos, uh, you know, tutorials on running like, an, you know, selling stuff on eBay and, uh, if you look it up, of course, you're going to see all the, and you're going to say, wow, look at that. It's worth that much. You know, well, no, it's not worth that much. That's what somebody's asking for it. What you got to do is type in the stuff that you got, the part, whatever it is, and then go over to the left and click in sold items. And that's going to bring up all the stuff that's recently sold that is exactly like the one you're selling. And then you can get an idea. And you say, well, this guy got 50 bucks for this. This guy got 200 bucks. You know, there's a couple of them. And then you decide, like I do, take it, price it just under that, and you might have a chance at selling it. But uh, that's just a little, little tip for you. You might already know if you're into it, but... It was a little subject I wanted to touch on while I was just sitting around thinking like I do or laying in bed not sleeping thinking about stuff but probably think too much but, you know in my business of uh, hauling away junk cars as you know I'm in a small town uh, there's no one else really in the town that does it um, when the price went down they all stopped uh, there was very select few anyway blah blah anyway um, so you know, I, I've noticed that after doing this stuff for years, there's different types of people and they come with different areas too. And being up here, way up north versus uh, down south where I was, not like down, down south, but, um, you know, Massachusetts area, uh, it's quite a, quite a big difference in you know, the way people are and, you know, people that are selling their junk car and stuff. And, you know, obviously up here, uh, especially in this little town, there's um, not a lot of people with, you know, tons of money. And uh, they don't give anything away. I shouldn't say all of them, though. Still, there's, there's different groups of people, like, that I get, you know, with the, that I have to deal with, and uh, you know, you got some people that let's just say, let's start with the people that they see your ad, they have a car, it's you know, they're spending a lot of money on it. It's getting to that point where they, uh, you know, it's time to get rid of it, and they say, well. We got another car coming or we got another car that's here this is sitting in the driveway we need to get rid of it we need to call somebody that does this service here's the number they call me how much you give me yes they agree great sounds great they agree to the price and you go there and you pick it up and everything's fine then you got people that agree to the price but they want everything back 
they just put brand new tires, they're going to need those back. They put a brand new battery, which is clearly the date on it's from three years ago, but that's brand new and they spent a lot of money and they're going to need it back. Well, then you got people that <clears throat> they say, no, they say, no way I'm selling it for that price. Like, uh, for instance, I got a call from this guy and he says, oh, hello there. Uh, do you deal with junk removal? And I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, I do. That's me. Um, well, I have some junk. Great. Let's hear about it. Well, I got a junk Ford F-150. You're kidding. Most of them are. Um, okay. I just want it gone. I want it gone. It's in the driveway, my mother's house. We got a new truck, but it runs, but we just need it gone. Is this something you'd be interested in hauling away? Yes, sir, it would be. Okay. Got a title for it? Yep, got the title. Okay. Uh, um, now, interrupts, interrupts me. Uh, uh, what, what, can you come by today and look at it anyway? Can you come by today? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll, I'll make some time. I'll come by today. Okay, okay. Come by uh, after 2 o'clock. Yeah, all right. All right. So, trailer's hooked up. Oh, yeah. Always take the trailer. Or your tow truck, whatever you got. Always got a better chance of getting it because they see that. And they say, this could leave today. This could disappear, and I don't have to look at it today. It's always the way it's been. So, I drive over there. And <clears throat> there's the Ford truck. I'll try to make this story short. I know I'm not, I, I go in, someone commented on it and said that I, I go into too much detail and I've been told in real life by people in my family, people around that I go into too much detail, but I just like you to know every single bit of what's going on. But sometimes I get it. It's not needed. But anyway, I go there as soon as I pull up. Well, you don't need that trailer. This thing runs and drives. You can drive it. I say, well, sir, I'm one person. I jump cars and don't make a habit out of driving them around. But, you know, just the same. Let's have a look. So I look at the truck. It's complete. It's got the four cats on it. Those are pretty good. Happy about that. Right away, he starts talking about the brand new tires on it. The tires are clearly years old i mean it's just not anywhere near brand new but nice though i mean good tread you know whatever but not not brand new so this guy starts trying to sell now this is another group this is a different group of people here and it's not very often that i run into him but this is one of those that he's trying to sell me this thing like it's a used vehicle and which it is but you called me to remove junk remember that now you're trying to sell me on this truck and talking to me about all the things that are great about it I don't care I said that's great I said you know I try to be nice and I said but you know I just send them to the crusher oh you do I was like yeah I I junk vehicles that's what I do and he says well you know a, a man could you know pull this and that and an engine and a transmission and make some money off this well it's not what I do. So anyway, long story short, I look at the thing, and I give him, I give him the price, and he laughs, 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 laughs. What's wrong? What's so funny? Oh, no way I'm selling it for that. And he goes on and on, you know, to talk about the engine, and I said again, I said I, I so then he starts to talk about. A friend of his had a truck just like this one, and they junked it, and the company gave him eight hundred dollars. Now that's the thing ain't even worth that in scrap. And uh, 
I said, I said, wow. I said, well, maybe you should try to find the phone number of that. Well, I, I, I don't know who it was or, I, oh, so in other words, it was a bullshit story. So now this guy's lying to me, making up stories like, oh my God, you know, so pretty much was walking away and, uh, he says, yeah, yeah, you know, I got a few calls to make and stuff, but thanks for coming by. You know, he was nice and friendly after that. And I said, no problem. I said, uh, here's my card. Here's my number. You know, if you change your mind, if you need, need it gone, I'm the guy for the job. So I'm walking away, and then he starts flapping his gums again and laughing about the price. I thought we were past this. I was trying to be nice. I couldn't really help myself, so I turned around and I said, you know, I said, well, sir, now, this guy's, you know, a lot older than me, and yes, I did call him, sir. I said, uh, sir, well, let me ask you this. What did you expect when you called a junk removal company, junkmycar.com, broken dreams, scrap my car, get rid of it? What did you think that you were going to get? Did you really think you were going to get anywhere near $800 from me? Well, I thought you might have bought them, you know, for parts and stuff. I said, well, thank you for your time. If you change your mind, give me a call. Have a nice day. So anyway, there's, there's that group of people. Very rare. Then, the fav my most favorite people, and it hasn't happened in a little while, but it does, more than you would think. They say, you know what? I got a junk car and he removed. Okay, when can he get it? Well, I can come get it tomorrow. Okay, I'll be here, title in hand. Keys are here. Sometimes you could start the thing, drive it out the driveway, drive it onto the trailer. They don't talk about any money. Okay. Get there. Free. Free car. What am I going to do? They weren't smart enough to look to see that I pay cash for cars. Right? They don't say nothing. Sometimes. Other times, they say, I know, I know you get money for, for junk cars, but I don't want any money for it because, now here, here's some smart thinking, right? They say, you know what? I've had this thing for years. I've gotten my use out of it. I've had to put money into it. And it's been good to me and it's been bad to me. But it doesn't stand me really anything at this point. It's it needs to be thrown away in the trash. And I'm not going to sit here and try to get money for something, you know, that is just complete garbage. Make somebody else pay. So you can see why I like those people, obviously, because then it's 100% profit. All I'm spending is fuel and my time, and I'm making some pretty good money. Now... Not happening so much uh, lately, obviously, but it has. And Cadillac Escalade that sits in the driveway is a perfect example of somebody just like that. That this thing's leaking on my driveway. No one can fix it. I don't want a dime for it. You can have it. Come here, get it. You can, you can uh, wreck it apart. You can fix it. You can sell it. You can burn it. I don't care what you do with it. Just get it out of my sight. Here's the title. Here's the key. Take it away. And uh, so anyway, you got different groups of people. And uh, something that just happened recently. <clears throat> Let's make sure. Make sure we're. We're still going here. This, this, this is a long video. Oh, yeah. We're still recording. Not 
not too bad. But um, remember last week or whatever that was, uh, vehicle before last, 2003 Dodge Dakota 47 V8. You remember the one. Um, made a video, killed it. It was a good one. Lost all the footage. Sore subject. Don't want to talk about it. Anyway, you would have loved it. So it didn't go with Scrapyard Runner. But, so, that truck, again, small town. Lady that owned that truck had it for a long time. She loved it. Uh, a lot of people knew it. In fact, guy that I'm friends with, his mechanic, as a shop, he was the mechanic for that truck. So, a bunch of stuff happens to it. Oil pan rots out, transmission pan's got a hole in it, needs ball joints, needs this, needs steering, ra I don't know, needs all this stuff. Basic, the thing was a lemon, he said, when they bought it, used. But anyway, um, so... He finally says to them, that's it, I'm done working on it. You, you, you got to pull the engine to do the oil pin, and, and it's just not worth it. So they got it sitting in front of the house. So now the lady owned it. The guy, that's her husband, hung out down at, this, at the shop where I was hanging out at. And so one day he starts flapping his gums about this thing and says, you know, um, he says, you want it? You want that truck? You want to haul that off for junk? I was like, yes, I do. He's like, okay. Um, well, it's, it's got real nice tires on it. Going to need them back because we're going to buy another truck that has the same size tires. I said, that's, that's fine. Oh, and the battery. We're going to need that back too. Yeah, of course. So, I said, well, that's okay. I said, I can do that for you. I said, but in that case, I don't pay for the vehicle because, you know, now I'm bringing you stuff back. Now it makes it an incomplete vehicle. And, you know, I go out of my way. I bring people back, you know, their tires. And I do it sometimes. But uh, basically, I, I, oh, no, that's great. He said, I don't want nothing for it. Uh, just bring me back the tires and the battery and we'll be good. Okay. So a little time passes by, I don't hear anything on it. Drive by the thing every day, I see it sitting there, doing nothing. So then I find out that they didn't get the truck that they were supposed to get to put those tires on. So now I said, well, what's going on to my friend, you know, the guy that worked on it? And he said, I don't know. He said, but I heard that he was going to sell it to this guy a couple towns over wanted it for parts. And I said, well, what the hell? He already promised it to me. So, and I would have bought it, you know, if he left it, left the tires and everything on it. I would have paid normal, you know, junk vehicle price. So, then I see the thing all shoveled out and I'm like, you know, what am I going to do? I'm going to be mad? Yeah, but it's nothing I can really do. Well, it gets shoveled out, and then nothing happens. Things still sitting there. So then, I decide one day when, you know, it's slow, it's winter time. I'm not getting any business at all. And it started to get to me. So I ended up sending the guy a message, because we're friends on Facebook. And I sent him a message, and I said, hey, you want to sell that truck or what? Oh, I don't know. You'd have to talk to my wife. It's hers. But I think she does want to sell it. Uh, we had it sold to a guy, but uh, I said, well, I thought you I thought you said I could buy it. Well, uh, yeah, but this guy was a family friend and, you know, uh, whatever. You know, he wanted it. He needed it for parts. He needed it. Okay, well, yeah, all right. Um, but, yeah, talk. so I said, okay, I'll message her. So I sent her a message. Also, friends with her on Facebook. Uh, she says, oh, yes. She says, um, now her exact message, this is just a little side note, 
it says, oh, oh, um, yes, uh, at the end of the week, I'm going to have my daughter help me clean it out. And then you can have it, darling, is what the message says. You can have it. Now, we both know that, well, me and the guy knew, we said, you know, there's no way that she's giving away anything. Not exactly, you know, made of money. And uh, so, anyway, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. So I said, oh, great, um, let me know, uh, and I'll pick it up right away. Oh, yes, that'd be great, that'd be great. You know, a little talk back and forth, so everything seemed good. So then all of a sudden, so I don't hear from her. She said she's going to get a hold of me at the end of the week, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, Saturday rolls around, and, of course, I'm doing something with my family, and she says, oh, yes. Um, need it, need you to come get that right now. Well, I can't come right now. I'm sorry about that. I said, but if I had known, I would have planned for it. Uh, you know, this is the first I hear from you. So, oh, no, no problem. Uh, uh, it's an eyesore and, and, and I, I'm too sad looking at it. So I want it gone. So now to this point, nothing said about a price. Nothing was asked to me about how much you're buying it for, how much you've given us, anything. No mention of tires, no mention of battery, nothing like that. So this is, this is, all this is completely true. So whoever you are watching, just know that it's completely true. I'm not, not bad talking anyone or anything like that. And I have respect for the person, the people and all that, but I'm just telling my story on how it happened. So, nothing's been said. So, okay. I said, well, when I get back, I said, I'll be over. So, later on that day, I messaged her. I said, on my way over. She messaged back. Great. Great. Okay. So, I go over there with the trailer and everything. So, they're both there. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah pleasant trees. All exchanged. Yeah. All set. So, everyone's staring at me. I'm like, okay, um, got the title? Oh, yeah. Let me go dig it out. They don't even have the title dug out yet. I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. So, I said, I look down. There's a bunch of keys on the counter. I pick out a Dodge key. Is this the key? Oh, yeah. How'd you know? I don't know. And, I said, okay, well, uh, and I take out my normal amount of money that I pay for that, that certain vehicle and what it is and everything. And uh, I've already looked under it and seen that, that the cats were on it, or the cat, I should say. Um, still nothing said about tires, battery, nothing like that. So um, she takes the money, kind of looks at it. In the pocket great nothing else said a uh, little small talk I said uh, I think that thing will still oh no don't start I already gave you that story don't start it don't start it. there's no oil well it's full of oil but transmission didn't move anyway so wouldn't have moved but so I winch it out of its spot out of the frozen ice fall in the mud and the ice and the snow whatever wham 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 so I get it I winch it up Wave to the guy, all set, have a nice day. Great, great, can't. So, later on that night, get a message from the lady. Uh-oh. And, uh, nope, she just says, I wanted to thank you a lot, you know, for for coming quick and getting that thing out. You know, I, I was sad to see it leave. You know, it was my favorite truck, but, uh, you know, Make sure we're still going here. Twenty-two minutes. Um, 
So, yeah, everything was fine, and, and we messaged back and forth, and she was very happy, you know, to have it gone. So, I do my normal thing. Now, I look at this truck. It's got four really nice, not brand new. Uh, technically, the two fronts are brand new, like a month old, but the rear's about a year old, year or two old. Anyway, nice tires on it. 245s, very common size. I know that there's people that need those tires. I know that I can sell them. So I said, all right, well, I'll take them all off at the junkyard and I'll try to sell them on the Dakota wheels, which also fit on Durango's. Okay, so um, normal thing. You know, that's what I would do. Battery. 2017 still worked but I did take it out anyway just to keep it around and people around town need a used battery I usually get 20 30 dollars pop it in for them nice little thing it all adds up and you got to keep making money off that same vehicle you know so I take a few small parts off of it that I know will sell on eBay a few switches maybe um, you know radio had a nice radio they left the radio in it with the you know, the Bluetooth with the remote on the dash. Great. So, a couple days goes by, and I um, bring the, it was snowing and crap outside, but I usually I power wash the wheels and tires, and I usually sell them. It works out pretty good, but, you know, it's winter time, so I bring them in the garage, put the heat on, let them thaw out, give them a quick wipe down, Lean them against the garage door, take some nice pictures, put them on Facebook Marketplace. 300 bucks. I mean, pretty good deal for a set of wheels and tires. Uh, higher than I want, you know. Um, I mean, scrap wise, they're, they're worth $16.50 each with the tire on them if I was to just throw them away. So, Whatever, anything over that, if I get 200 bucks, or even if I got $100, I'm still getting more than if I was to just leave them on there or take them off and scrap them. And I figure, try them, and if nobody wants them like that, peel the tires off, scrap the aluminum wheels at a dollar a pound, and sell the tires or keep the tires because, you know, I could use that size too, so uh, not really worried about it. Uh, very easy, takes five minutes, put them on there, and you never know. Sometimes I've sold them, I've sold wheels and tires within 20 minutes of putting them on there. People come by, they're so happy. They bolt them right on, they're all balanced, they're all ready to go. It's a nice deal. Um, a lot of people in town very happy with that situation, so... Probably maybe three hours after that goes up now, if you post something on Marketplace, unless you check the box, hide from friends, all your friends can see. They'll get it on their news feed, right? They're going to see, oh, Chris Jones put, put some wheels up on Marketplace. What are they? Right? People are going to see that. Well, she's on Facebook all the time. And, of course, she sees. But I thought nothing of it. So, all of a sudden, I get a message from her. This time, it's not so friendly. She's mad that I'm selling those wheels and tires. She's actually mad. She says, you know, I can't believe it. Um, you know, you really hurt my feelings. You give me this for the truck, and now you're selling the, the, the rims and tires. You're trying to make more money off of me, and... You know, I lost money on the truck, and I don't have a job, and blah, blah, blah. I can't believe you would do this, but, you know, and uh, so here I am. This is a very rare situation. Um, it doesn't happen a lot. But when you got a small town, and you got a vehicle and a person that everyone knows, you're going to run into it. I didn't think anything of it. My wife said... 
when I put it up there, she had said, you know, to herself, not sure if that's such a good idea. I thought about it, and I knew that she was going to see it. I knew that the guy would see it. But, hey, that's what I do. So anyway, I message her back and I say, I'm very sorry that you feel that way. Um, I said, this is how I make money. I said, I'm not getting rich off of the, the scrap metal, the, the weight, you know. I said, I got to. I got to piece stuff out. I got to hustle the money however I can. I said, this is not a side gig for me. I said, this is my job and this is how I pay my bills and whatever. I might not have said all that, but you, I'm just saying it so that you hear it. But anyway, I said, uh, I said, so I said, so you're mad at me for selling the junk. And I said, so if if I had left them on there and the guy at the junkyard said, ooh, look at these tires, and he takes them off and lists them right on Marketplace, just like I did, which he would have done, would you be mad at him? I mean, what's the difference? You know, you're you going to be mad at everyone? Or are you going to be mad at, like, um, China or Canada, whoever's getting the... the crushed up, you know, uh, shit, the remains of your truck, because they're going to make more money on it. It's Everyone's going to make more money up the chain. But anyway, I kept it short, and she said, oh, no, uh, that's okay. You know, I'm not mad at you. And, you know, quickly, I think, regretted probably sending the message. And uh, she said, you know, her final thing was, uh, my loss, your gain. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that was that. So, you know, what am I going to do? I, uh, I click the hide from friends, which I should have done in the beginning, right? So I should have done. Now, when I post something on Marketplace, right, it says you want to post it to all these groups all these different car groups and stuff that I'm in, buy and sell groups in the area, of course, I cross-posted it in all of those, okay? Well, three, four, five days goes by. I haven't got one hit on these wheels. And this is very strange because I've sold, I've sold way worse stuff than that. And these are nice tires, I mean... Very common size, like I said. So I'm saying, man, what's going on here? Nobody, I haven't got one message, nothing. And then I thought about it. Sure enough, if you click hide from friends, it doesn't get cross-posted. You can't cross-post it in the groups and hide from friends. So... It was all, they're only on Marketplace. So you actually have to search on Marketplace. You're not like, you know, these people are in the groups. They're not going to see it. So you'd actually have to search, you know, I want some Dodge Dakota wheel or I want some of these tires. And then you'd find them. But so there you go. Ruined my sale. And now because of that, I can't sell them. And, uh. I, I did not do very good on that truck as far as uh, profit-wise because, you know, what these people don't understand, too, is, you know, I'm not leaving your driveway and immediately just going like this and getting money back and making my profit just like that. I got to drive 90 miles. I got to haul this thing 90 miles on with my truck, my trailer, all on me, my insurance, I get a tire blowout, I, I break something, that's all expense on me, that's all stuff, okay? People want to understand that. So, there you go. There's another, there's another uh, group of humans that I don't run into very often. I Like I said, I don't run into a situation. In fact, most of the time... When I would pick up something like that, 
I would get people and they'd say, you know, I just put, you know, these tires on. I just put this alternator. I just put a brand new battery. I just put, you know, thousands of dollars worth of work. You know, if you wanted to make some money, you could take that stuff off and sell it. Don't matter to me. I don't want the car anymore. I'm happy to get my scrap, my, my junk car removal fee and gone. Don't have to look at it anymore. What are you going to use? What are you, you going to do? What, what's uh, Mrs. McGillicuddy going to put, you know, uh, four tires? And I've had that happen. And, and <laughs> you know, you're going to put these tires in your shed. What are you going to do with them? You know, I had a lady years ago. Picked up a junk, rotted right to the ground. Hardly got it on the trailer. Hyundai uh, Accent or something. Really good cats on those, by the way. Um, but it had four snow tires on it. They were new at one time, you know. But um, they've been sitting on the ground for many years. Oh, yeah. If you wanted them back, you got to bring me those tires back. She didn't think, she thought I was going to screw her. I said, listen, I said, I don't think there's a market for 13-inch snow tires on Hyundai wheels. Um, she looked at me like I had four heads, and I said, don't worry about it. I said, I, I'm a man of my word. I'll bring you the tire. And I brought it back, and I stacked them right up on her little porch. And I'm talking, those things sat there for years. I always drove by and laughed and, and looked, and... Uh, it finally disappeared, probably got thrown away, whatever. But that's just uh, how, you know, people are. It's funny. So that's the situation I'm in. And uh, since then, uh, this lady shared my, my post, my advertisements for picking up junk cars, cash for junk cars. She shared them on Facebook. She's, you know, not mad um, that I know of, but, you know, I could have, my point is, is, you know, whatever. I got these wheels and tires now, so what I'll probably do is end up just uh, dismounting and taking the tires off and um, scrapping the wheels. You know, before too long anyway. Don't like to keep, you know, keep a hold of stuff too long. But anyway, that's uh, that's a long video. So check out my eBay stuff if you want. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, feel free to uh, comment and tell me. I want you to tell me what you think about this. I, you know, it's... Uh, I don't have a lot of people to, you know, talk to about this stuff and hear their, um, their opinions anyway on, uh, you know, so that, so just let me know what you think about this, what you would do. And, uh, that's it.